Yeah. Oh. Miguel. What is going on guys? We are back again. So today I'm going to do another review type of video. This one's going to be with Stay Clean Car Care. It's going to be their Shampoo G. This is the bottle that I received with my glove box detail shipment. And we're going to do a little review. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try putting some in a bucket maybe. Put some in the foam cannon. And then kind of go from there. We'll see how this does. It looks like it has a 2 out of 5 for cleaning, a 5 out of 5 for gloss, and then a 4 out of 5 for suds. So we'll put that to the test. I'm going to do my car and maybe my girlfriend's car. We'll do two separate reviews, um, but we'll see how it does. So we're going to stick it in the foam cannon. I've got my foam cannon right here. I've got my power washer. I'm gonna spray the car down, kind of see how this stuff works. I'll give you guys, I'll give you guys a good rundown. Should you buy it? Should you not? So we'll test this out, and we'll go on from there. My car is pretty dirty. We had a big snowstorm the other day, salt everywhere, but now it kind of cleared up, and now it's a nice day. So let's get to it. So I know that everybody kind of does it a little bit differently. I prefer to put a lot of suds in in these, or a lot of soap in it but you can kind of do as much as you want depending how sudsy you want it to be. I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just, I don't know, what do you think? So, stop there, we'll try that. That's about, let's see, that's probably a quarter of this bottle. Um, I don't know how big this bottle is, but probably about a quarter. You can kind of see the size from my hands, about, about four fingers tall. So we'll try that out. Quarter of this bottle in the foam cannon. So after you get that filled up to uh, wherever you want, just take the hose, and just gently fill up the bottle. You know, don't go full blast because you'll have suds everywhere. But I like to just, uh, just kind of fill it up as so. You know, usually, like if I was going to actually do like a full detail, I'd have two, uh, two buckets, one with soap and then one with just fresh water, and I'd dunk this in. But today, I'm just going to fill it with the hose gently. You know, after you get that in, there we go. Then I just sort of tilt it back and forth a few times, mix that soap up, then you should be good to go. So this is the power washer that I use. Um, I mean, you can use really any any that you want. This is just the one that I went with. I think I picked it up at Lowe's for $200 or whatnot. But 2,800 PSI does the job perfectly fine for me. Matches the wheels. So, yeah. So we'll get to it. I usually first spray the car down before I do any soap. Get all that salt, dirt, whatever's on there off. And then... Then we'll use the foam can and I won't make you sit through this. I'll do a little montage as I usually do and we'll go from there. I feel like the sky is falling down. Ain't nobody here to play around. Push it to the edge, I won't back down. Cause it's time to go hard or go on. One way up, no way out. I give it all, all for the family. We stay up, no bailouts. Give it all, all for the family. I do, as you can see, sprayed the whole car down, got most of the dirt off, but that usually doesn't get all of it. Um, next step that I'd do is I'd fill up one of these buckets with totally clean water, and then the other one I'll put a little bit more of that soap in it. Then uh, after we foam the car, we'll wipe it down with, uh, with a cloth that you use for scrubbing, and then... Uh, yeah, then we'll wash it off again, and then we can begin other steps. So I usually only do do this step if, um, like maybe if I'm in a rush or something like that, if I need to get through a show really quickly, and I'm not gonna maybe clay my car, wax the car, polish it, and stuff like that. So usually I'll just spray the car, foam, and then just spray it off again. And that sometimes works just fine, 
but today for for these demonstrations i'll wipe it down with the uh microfiber cloth that i used and we'll do it the proper way so so we can actually see how this stuff works so i'm gonna foam the car now and then i'll get back to you do you recall not long ago when you would walk on the sidewalk in the sand remember all we did was care for each other but the night was warm we were bold and young Okay, so as you guys saw, I ended up uh, washing that, then I did the foam cannon and so on. So in my opinion, I didn't think that uh, there was that much soap or suds from the foam cannon. I thought that I put a lot in there. I, that's usually uh, more than what I'd usually put and when I use like chemical guys and stuff like that. There's a lot of soap that comes out and suds. So I'm going to try again on my girlfriend's car. I'm going to put a lot more soap this time, maybe see if that would do the trick and we'll get a lot of uh, foam out of the foam cannon. So I did end up testing it on my girlfriend's car as well with the foam cannon. Did it a little bit differently. I added a little bit more of the soap to the foam cannon. So the results are pretty much the same both ways. But in my opinion, I think that this stuff is worth it. It did leave a good shine on the car and it did rain the day after that I applied it to the car. And the car still looks perfect. No water spots, no nothing like that. Um, all in all, I'd recommend it. Check out them. I'll put their li uh, link in the description below. And just let me know what you think. If you guys want me to test any products out, do a couple reviews um, before you buy, let me know. Shoot me a message on Instagram. Facebook or down below. So I know I keep saying it, but car season is right around the corner. We are actually having good weather finally. No snow, a little bit of rain, but that's better than snow. So tons of content to come, tons of mods coming your way. We're gonna do installs, we're gonna do more reviews, we're gonna go to car shows. And I got some friends who are building some pretty cool cars as well. So we're gonna go check that out and then We'll take you guys on the journey. So let your friends know, let your family know, let everybody know that uh, who that S5 is, and hopefully you enjoy this video. Never lose